Welcome to the Health Fix Podcast, where health junkies get their weekly fix of tips, tools, and techniques to have limitless energy, sharp minds, and fit physiques for life. Hey, health junkies. On this episode of the Health Fix Podcast, I'm interviewing Craig Smith. He's the general manager for Holy Hydrogen, the company that makes hydrogen gas and hydrogen water. Not too long ago, I interviewed Greg, the hydrogen man, who gave us a ton of information about how hydrogen water and gas helped him recover from his chronic illness, but also all of the benefits, all the technology, and he kind of blew my mind on a lot of levels. So having Craig on today, we're going to be talking about what he's seen in terms of different folks and their testimonials, but also in terms of little factoids about hydrogen and how it can be beneficial to your health. And I have to preface this with, I really do believe that hydrogen, water, and gas has a huge benefit for us. I do believe that it it, it can be extremely beneficial for anyone that is dealing with chronic illnesses, but I also think that it is a good preventative tool and really incredible for oxidative stress conditions. And how do we figure out if we have oxidative stress? You got stress? Are you on this earth? You have oxidative stress. You can also test it, of course, but here's the thing. I think it's worth just getting a little knowledge and having it in the back of your head about hydrogen and just so you know a little bit more. So let's introduce you to Craig Smith and get on with the podcast. Hey, Health Junkies, I have Craig Smith on today and we are going to be talking about hydrogen and the benefits of hydrogen. And yes, hydrogen water is going to come into the conversation too, because yes, as you guys know, I've talked before with Greg, the hydrogen man, all about the Lourdes Hydrofix. And that was a, a lot of folks got got fired up about that conversation. And so, of course, I wanted to have Craig back on and talk a little bit more about hydrogen and the benefits for you. So, Craig, welcome to the Health Fix podcast. Hey, Janine, thank you so much for having me. Uh, what what a pleasure. Great to connect with your, your audience. Uh, this is an important topic. We're excited. It is because, you know, a lot of folks are getting to the point where they're realizing that, you know, obviously modern medicine, it has its benefits. You know, if your leg's broken, you know, I can't do anything with, with hydrogen water, you know, to put your leg back together, but I can help you to heal. That's for sure. A lot faster. So it's, it's a great adjunct therapy, but also for a lot of folks who are searching for why don't I feel good? You know, what is it about my health? You know, they've tried all the things. This is where hydrogen water has really come into, to play. And before we jumped on the call, we were talking about certain conditions. So definitely want to dive into those. So folks, we're going to be talking about certain conditions. So I'm going to give you that teaser. So don't go anywhere. But first, let's go to the roots of hydrogen and how is it discovered to be the amazing element that it is? Absolutely. You know, Ginny, they they say life leaves clues, right? Hmm. And uh, I just want to share just from a very a 30,000 foot level, maybe even going back to eighth grade science for just a minute. We mm-hmm. won't geek out too much, but, you know, we, we believe here without sending, you know, this isn't hyperbole, but essentially that we've got the biohacking equivalent, you know, of the Holy Grail. Mm -hmm. Uh, And when we're talking about clues, let's just look at clue number one, number one, that's an an important number because hydrogen is number one on the periodic table of elements. It's the lightest and the smallest of the elements. And those who like a little bit of trivia, like I do, you know, it's hydrogen gas is odorless, tasteless, colorless. Uh, it uh, Hydrogen comes from the, the, the Greek hydro for water and genes for forming. And when we're talking about forming, let, let's get into the numbers. And this life leaves clues idea is that 90 percent of all the atoms in the universe uh, are hydrogen. That's, I mean, that's three quarters of the mass we're talking of stars, of our sun. And when I say that and add the fact that it's also our bodies, I'm just wondering if there's a message in there. Some are even calling it uh, the, the God particle. Yeah. Maybe we don't need less hydrogen. Maybe we take what I call the original building block, which surrounds us. Maybe we don't need less, but maybe we need more. It, it makes sense. I mean, I think a lot of people forget, I, you know, about 
basic science, you know, either we were like, ah, science, you know, forget about it. But really, right. we know H2O. What is the H in H2O? It's it's hydrogen. Hydrogen. And, and since water gives life, you know, we and, and air gives life. I mean, we have we have this element there for us to use. I, I do think it's genius to kind of take from something from the environment that makes up us that would have kind of the right signal to us to right. heal. It makes yeah. sense. Yeah, I mean, it, it does. It just makes sense. And it it's something the body can recognize, right? It's it's not some foreign chemical. It's all around us. And maybe we're not getting enough of it. And, and that's, you know, our, our whole come from, you know, with, with the Lord's Hydrofix. We, I mean, we believe, as as I'm sure your listeners do, that health is a habit. It's it's not an event, right? right. And so this this isn't a quick fix. But some of the maybe the highlighted stories or customer experiences that we can get into in just a little bit. I mean, it, it doesn't have to take years. Uh, I do know of a story. Uh, you know, it took several years for for glaucoma to reverse, mm. which is incredible because it normally shouldn't reverse as you age. But I've got stories in three weeks. I've got stories in seventeen days. I've got stories in and around the month period, all consuming hydrogen infused water and inhaling gas, which is which is possible here, you know, because I don't know, Janita, if you're like me, the body doesn't know its chronological age, it only acts its biological age. Right. And, you know, we really believe the body's the miracle. All it needs is the proper raw materials. And we believe here at Holy Hydrogen, we provide the best raw material on the planet, maybe I can say the universe, uh, because it makes up 75% of everything. And that raw material is hydrogen. Yeah. Yeah. No, I mean, in, in my previous podcast with, with Craig, you know, we, we talk so much about like how, how your, your product is, is made and, and everything and how, how it's superior to other things on the market where folks were kind of touting, especially over the pandemic, there was a right. huge influx as, as you know, and, and people who are listening of the Brown's gas machines. And, and this is where, you know, Craig and I are going to talk a little bit today on more of the efficacy of hydrogen, why it is such a powerful tool. So tell us a little bit about the discovery. And, and I know a lot of the research kind of coming out of Japan, mostly was yeah. hydrogen's use in the body uh, first discovered in Japan or elsewhere? How how did that kind of play out in terms of the gas and and the the um, water? Yeah, absolutely. I mean, we we go back to sixteen, I think sixteen seventy one. Wow, with Robert Robert Boyle, who uh -huh. first yeah. he he first. I mean, you know it's you know, it's kind of like lots of medications that are out on the, the market. Not that hydrogen's a medication. It just is right. It's people are messing around, experimenting. And in this right. case, Robert was experimenting with irons and acids and he created hydrogen, but it wasn't until 1766 that a man named Henry Cavendish recognized it as a distinct element. And if I can uh, show off a little bit of my, my, my French, it was yeah. finally named hydrogen by the French chemist Antoine Lavoisier. And so he he came along. And since then, there have been over 1,700 scientific studies on 170 disease models. But uh, a fun little factoid, uh, Janine, is people often ask me, Greg, where did, where did you get the name? Where did you get the name? Uh, Lourdes, Lord's Hydrofix. Yeah. And and for those that have traveled to France, there's this little tiny town in mm -hmm. the Pyrenees Mountains, about 500 miles south of Paris, called Lourdes or Lourdes France, Lourdes France. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's a tradition there, and I've been there personally, that in 1858, uh, the Virgin Mary appeared to a girl named Bernadette. Yes. And and the waters are said to have had healing powers. Well, the Japanese coming back to your Japanese question, the Japanese went and have looked at some of these holy sites right around the world. These pilgrimages. I mean, you've got people that line up by the tens of thousands to drink the water. I've been there and they discovered that the waters there in France, in that little tiny town coming right out of the rock are highly concentrated with hydrogen. 
That's fascinating. You know, my mom went there when I was 15 or 16 when she was in the throes of breast cancer. And it was it was one of the places like she would she would teach me about. And I knew a lot of people hear about it. And I figured that might have been why the name, you know, was <laughs> was coming through. But yeah, the I did not know that that was the the premise but like behind the water that it was rich in hydrogen and so yeah. that that alone is fascinating just in terms of okay this is where the japanese got the idea to be like hmm if that's the case then what is it what can it do in in normal applications and and we were talking and and obviously cancer is one of those highly oxidative situations why probably most people are in lords to see if they were going to have some type of miracle on their body but let's talk about the oxidative stress and the, the connection with hydrogen there in terms of how those two play together and and how certain conditions i mean i know we talked about skin and and that's probably one of the big ones with that i would think about in terms of oxidation but i'm gonna let you take over because i've got ideas but you're oh. the guy. You're the guy with the. Well, <laughs> oh no no no! You you you're the doctor. I'm I'm just happy to be <laughs> here and uh, share kind of from a from a high level. But you mentioned, you know, back with the pandemic, and I'm glad we can at least approach that topic yeah. and not be yeah. all concerned. In fact, uh, I just pulled this up while while you were mentioning that uh, a gentleman uh, by the handle Open Your Mind. He's he's one of our customers. He just sent this to me last week. He says. Quote, the Lord's Hydrofix is helping me recover from an 18-month journey caused by the you-know-what. <laughs> I love that. He says, he says, seven weeks of using the machine, maybe drinking, inhaling, right, have had a reduction in symptoms that I couldn't get in 18 months prior. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, we hear this over and over. We've got stories from people like Bruce. Uh, Bruce is a plumber by trade. And I invite any of your listeners to go out to our Facebook page to watch any of these stories, see any of our in our posts, right? It's just facebook.com forward slash holy hydrogen. One word, Bruce couldn't even touch his children's faces with his hands because he's a plumber and all of the glue, the caustic chemicals. And when you go see this, I mean, the, the hands uh, they're they're kind of horrific. My wife didn't even want to look at them <laughs> when I showed her the <laughs> pictures. And in less than four weeks of just drinking, he didn't change a thing in his life except started drinking hydrogen. He's drink he drinks water before, but now he's drinking hydrogen water. Mm -hmm. And I, I, you know, the night and day difference. All of a sudden, his hands went from Frankenstein to just almost velvet. It's. Mm -hmm. It is powerful. In fact, two more came in. Uh, a great lady named Lynn shared that uh, she was diabetic, diagnosed, and then went to pre-diabetic, then to pre-pre-diabetic, and now, in her words, quote, no diabetic. Wow. And I and I just re uh, received one last week about endometriosis, and I'll be posting that on our Facebook page as well, it, it seems to go in. To me, it's like almost like a heat-seeking missile because it's the smallest molecule. You know, when we think of an antioxidant, right? right. A lot of people, blueberries. You know, I'm I'm going right. to eat eat more antioxidants. Well, a blueberry is like a Mack truck trying to get inside of you versus hydrogen that can literally, because it is so small, it can cross the blood-brain barrier. It can go, as the old Star Trek phrase was, where no one has gone before. <laughs> it can penetrate bone marrow. It can penetrate right down to the cell immediately uh, be, because of its size. And we believe, again, to the point of the antioxidant stress, to be able to go and deal with that oxidative stress in the body and go repair and do it in such a an efficient manner it's unlike anything. I've been in the health industry for over 20 years and worked with 109 different products. I've never seen anything so efficient as hydrogen, as an antioxidant. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, in terms of the data, in terms of what I've seen, I, I would agree. And, you know, interestingly enough, we have to take a lot of supplements to get to that level of antioxidant 
replenishment. But at the same time, a lot of times, you know, which brings in the debate of the whole food supplements versus the synthetic supplements, because we don't necessarily know you take this thing, what is it going to do? Like you said, that same thing as the blueberry, you've got all the components in the blueberry. Does your body know what to do with all of those? Or does it have the cofactors to work with it? With hydrogen, it's one molecule. And as far as I know, we don't need a lot of cofactors for it to exert its effect. Right. I mean, it goes right through the cell membrane to go and clear out that inflammation and free radical damage because it's a, a this super selective antioxidant. It seems like there, there's just no barriers. You don't have to wait in line, right? right. To, to kind of slowly, hey, we're going to chip away at this oxidative stress. No, it just comes in and blasts it and and does it in such an efficient and quick and comprehensive way that uh we uh we seem to be seeing these what seem like miraculous stories of healing in fact one podcaster called it the most powerful healing substance <laughs> on on the planet i mean that's targeting your immune system anti-inflammatory joints uh, muscle recovery. We've got folks that have energy like they haven't had before. Um, balance and deal with the pH of the blood. Uh, neuroprotective. We've got one young lady. We call her young lady Judy. You go out to the the either to our YouTube Holy Hydrogen or our Facebook and see Judy's story. In 17 days, her her daughter sent us an email, gave us permission to use it, and sent us the pictures. Day one. And day 17, she couldn't pick up a fork. She was in a wheelchair. And all of a sudden, within 17 days of doing the high molecular hydrogen therapy, she's picking up a fork. She's saying more words. And she's standing up out of her wheelchair. The daughter says, guys, if this is all that happens, thank you. So I'm, I know I'm passionate. I'm, I'm very excited <laughs> about it. People say, oh, wait, but he works for the company. No, no, no. I've seen what it's done in my life and my friends' lives. So I'm going to go shout it from the rooftops. Right. Well, absolutely. Absolutely. And, I, you know, I think a lot of people, there, there is that pluripotent, like, how does this have this, like, pluripotent ability to do all these things? And, and guys, there's even data. I, I pulled a research article just the other day about from 2021 in a review of all of the hydrogen impacts on on the body and it did say like literally that hydrogen has an impact on proteins molecules signaling pathways and can really explain its pluripotent therapeutic potential so this isn't just me saying like you know this is this is the best thing ever there there really is some science behind this in terms of what kind of power it can do. So, so Craig, tell us some of your personal stories. Give us, give us your story, because I think a lot of people might be interested to hear what happened to you, you know, what was going on in your life, what yeah. was happening? Absolutely. I, uh, when I was about 25 years old, I was uh, diagnosed with rheumatoid arthritis. And as a young man, I thought that was <laughs> like old people get that. Yes. Old people get rheumatoid arthritis, not people in their 20s. And uh, it it was a blow, and uh, I mean, it seemed to have the onset was so fast, and I I couldn't even make a fist in my in my mid twenties, and uh, I did go on a medication. Uh, it seemed to help. Went into remission, and I I bring that up as as a backdrop. Uh, doing well, but every time I've tried to go work out, I I tried to go to the gym, I tried to lift weights. Uh, on a regular basis. I know it probably doesn't look like it. Uh, it could look like it a lot more, we'll, we'll say, but I'm trying, right? I'm trying to make the effort. And every day after working out with weights, uh, you know, dumbbells, whatever, any machine, pulling, squeezing, uh, ever since then, even though I could still make fists, I was taking, and I know you're going to, you're going to scold me, Janine. I know it. <laughs> uh, I was taking ibuprofen. Mm -hmm. every day my I would sit when I got home my wife would look at me and she just watched me rubbing my fingers rubbing every one of my joints my thumb and she'd say did you take ibuprofen she didn't want me on it but she's like have, have you taken something since I started drinking hydrogen water I have not taken a single ibuprofen my joints the only way I can describe it 
is that my joints, I feel like the clock's been moved back. Mm-hmm. Like somehow my joints, I can do this, are are younger. Like so I and and again, I'm not a scientist. I don't pretend to be a scientist. Uh, I'm I'm not in in the medical field. I and so I rely on um, amazing people like you to try to explain what is happening. And uh, besides the joint uh, improvement, there's only one word that keeps coming to mind that I hear over and over with people that start drinking the hydrogen water and and breathing the hydrogen gas, and that's the word crave. Mm. I said, man, I didn't even really like water before now I crave it it's the strangest thing the first thing I do I I I set a picture up the night before because what you can do is you select a button and it's real simple you just fill the picture up uh, put the lid on press the button and uh, in either 10 or 30 minutes you've got 1.5 liters of uh, hydrogen infused water ready to go but if you do it right before you go to bed Within 12 hours, because it goes in standby mode and keeps the water completely saturated at 1.6 parts per million. And it keeps it saturated. So the first thing I, when I wake up, I've got my uh, my big old 1.5 liters of hydrogen. I just start pouring and drinking on an empty stomach. It's, uh, it's, it's amazing. And you can keep making it all through the day for the entire family, for your pets. We've got great stories. People are putting it in the in the dishes. Now, it will mm-hmm. dissipate once you put it into like a dog dish or or a glass like this. Within an hour, the hydrogen will dissipate. Mm-hmm. But uh, so we so we but we we do sell really cool again, Japanese technology out, you know, off the charts. I mean, They've got, I've got a Toyota truck sitting in my driveway, Janine, that's pushing 200,000 miles and I've never replaced anything major ever except a battery. Yep. If you want to call that major, the, the Japanese engineering, they've got it figured out. They, they know what they're doing. And so they designed a bag that will hold the hydrogen for up to a week in a, in a portable bag that we sell on the site. Wow. So you go camping with it, essentially, or going on a hike. And it's got a special double spout. So it's it's kind of like those doors that you let stuff in, doesn't let other stuff out kind of a thing. Uh, powerful. So, that, so that's my story. Wow. I, I, I've got three other stories from um, women I know whose IBS, quote, is gone, who suffered with it their whole lives. And, all, and I don't want to be graphic, but being able to go to the bathroom is not overrated. Great. Great. <laughs> Great. No, it's 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 huge. And being able, I mean, the abdominal area is is huge, right? We we all store stress there. And for many people, the the gut is the the root of their issues. And I mean, if I'm a naturopath, so I'm gonna be like the gut is the root anyway, but right. you know, um it's it's huge to be able to hear that folks can actually change the digestive system because a lot of women you know we have constipation issues you know if we get diarrhea we're like yes i might lose weight it's it's no one (laughs) not too many complain about that unless unless i mean obviously if there's there's multiple bowel movements a day and interferes with life but most women if there's an occasional diarrhea we're all going to be in the back of our mind like yes i might lose weight today um it's it's goofy we're goofy but But i can't i can't relate but but i get it because one of those people is my wife that i didn't even realize (laughs) was dealing with IBS. It was the other end of the spectrum, right? It's either both one or the two, right? You either can't go or you go too much. And it has been amazing. All she's been doing is drinking hydrogen water. And things are changing in in amazing ways. Again, I don't know how. I'm just happy it's doing it. Right, right. Well, and and for her, like how, how long has she been using the water now? Uh, two months. Okay. Okay. Two months. Wow. I I mean, and then I had, a, like I told you, I was talking with a lady just like you just on a Zoom the other day. And uh, she got in a machine and just calling. She goes, Craig, listen, I've been 20 years in big pharma and I understand the placebo effect. You know, she was doing all this thing because I, she was setting me up and she just said, Craig, 
I've dealt with IBS my entire adult life. This amazing, powerful woman. And she says, Craig, my IBS is gone. <laughs> it is gone. And and she was, that was it. She was at a loss for words. And when she, when she said that, I, I just, you know, I, I just reaffirms everything that we're out trying to do in sharing this this message. And of course, it's there's a lot of pretenders out there. There, there's a lot of, I'll call them fake machines, fake gadgets, uh, thrown together in in back rooms, made to look impressive or swirl the water around. But uh, it doesn't compete with Japanese engineering, and and it's more expensive with what we're doing. It is an investment. Sure. Uh, it, it is an investment in your health. It's an investment in your future. And we believe it's worth the investment. Well, when you look at the cost, I mean, it's not outrageous compared to what medical costs would be or the the tens of thousands or almost a hundred thousands that I hear people jump into trying to figure out what's going on with their chronic conditions anyway. So, Absolutely. you know- it, it, it makes sense. Now, one of the things I know I get a lot of questions about, and, and I know that Greg answered, but I'd like to kind of go through it again, is with the technology, because there yeah. are a lot of folks that are talking about structured water. There's yeah. lots of folks that are talking about, yes, the Browns gas, then there are the other hydrogen water machines. Now, if someone's looking and they're like, well, you know, I, I like your product. It looks good. How do I compare it to know about quality? So what, what should they be looking for when they're, they're looking into hydrogen water and hydrogen gas? No, great question. And I'm never going to bash yeah. directly on, on a competitor product. You won't hear me mention a competitor product. I know there's other modalities of ways of people trying to get hydrogen uh, in, including in pills and, and things like yeah. that. I'm I, I'm always concerned when I add something to my water that has to go through a chemical reaction to create another byproduct, not knowing what it's doing to the water, increasing the pH. And that's one question you want to ask. Is it increasing the pH? Is it changing the water? All I want to do is put my clean water into my Lord's Hydrofix, right? Into the machine and have only hydrogen added to it and that's really the essence of your question it's mm -hmm. the quality of the engineering and it it's it's done in four ways and one of those is what we call dual chamber electrolysis in order for the hydrogen and the oxygen to be split apart it's through this process called electrolysis and in most of the machines out there or the gizmos or the gadgets, even the, I've seen people carrying water bottles that I just, oh, I just am so sad about those because it's just swirling up the water and they're they're making it look pretty. And if it is directly electrolyzing water, if it's even possible, um, that's that's an issue. You want to make sure that there's a stable process to be able to dissolve the the hydrogen into the water and keeping that separate, meaning that the electrolysis isn't happening in the water. It's happening underneath the water, releasing the hydrogen again through a special membrane. That would be number two. And, uh, and because we have a dual chambered system, and I don't want to geek out too much, but the pH remains neutral and it makes the hydrogen water more stable and long lasting. Again, pH neutral, non-toxic, uh, like, uh, well, unfortunately, other machines that are doing, and uh, some are even releasing toxic chlorine gas, uh, some are leaching metals, and mm -hmm. some are changing the pH of the water. Uh, an additional thing uh, that, that we look for, because the electrolysis happens underneath the pitcher, this 1.5 liter pitcher I'm talking about, it means that we've got this special patented membrane that only allows hydrogen ions to pass through it, mm. if, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. That way you get the purest drinking and purest hydrogen for inhalation. I didn't get that. Could you try? <laughs> and so, yeah, it, my watch is all excited. It says, I didn't get that. Well, let, let me explain. The, <laughs> there's some Japanese technology as well 
that allows us, because of the Japanese technology, to achieve a, uh, how should I say, a higher production value mm -hmm. of hydrogen with less electricity. That's because this machine sits on your countertop and it's about the size of a coffee maker. People can move it into their office if they want to sit, if they're working from home and breathe all day long. They can do this. So they can breathe during the day. They can drink. They can breathe. And then the final thing I'll just mention real quick, Janine, is the metal technology. In order to create electrolysis, you're, you're using really high-end metals. And we've got something we call expanded metal technology, or a fancy name is vortex-induced vibration engineering, which <laughs> creates these ultra-fine super nano hydrogen bubbles. And uh, there's nothing else like it that we're aware of uh, in existence with any other device because what's happening is the hydrofix is using premium metal electrodes made of pure titanium and pure platinum if they're not plated they're not plated platinum coiloids and uh i'll, I'll tell you what the minute you start running energy through plated metals you're going to get leaching and all kinds of other issues breakdowns and uh, less hydrogen it costs more because the engineering and everything about it is superior. It's the Toyota. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Well, that makes sense. I, I have a 2007 FJ Cruiser and I won't give it up for anything. That's it's, you know, exactly. I, 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 it's absolutely that the technology is good. You know, I think one of the things that, that you brought up and it is a question that I have had from some folks was the, t the titanium and the platinum. If someone has a metal allergy, is that a contraindication mm -hmm. for using a, a hydrogen device? What do you know about that? Great question. Yeah, because, and the, again, this is why I'm th so thrilled to be able to share the Lord's Hydrofix is because it's completely separate. What's happening in the other machines, they've got the metal in contact with the water. It's part of the whole process. Here, the whole electrolysis process with the metals, everything is completely separate than your water. So mm -hmm. it only allows the ions of hydrogen to come into your clean water source that, that you're using. People say, well, clean water can we use? Use the cleanest, you know, the cleaner, the better. I'm not going to go use toilet water. You know, some are just getting a Brita filter using their tap water. Some are using well water. Use whatever clean water you want. But see, there's a separate water source through a, a patented cartridge that helps create the uh, electrolysis. That sits complete. That's separate water. You never drink it. There's a separate little water source in called a, a reservoir. And then our pitcher sits down on top of that. So everything you're talking about is completely separated from the actual water you drink. Okay. Okay. I think, you know, you're talking about the water source coming in. I, I would imagine that the cleaner your water is, the more filtered your water is, the better it would be for the actual end product or maybe for the longevity of the of the system, perhaps. Any ideas yeah, yeah, on that? I, you know, it's like kind of quality, right? Some people put yeah. premium gas in their tank, right? Mm -hmm. uh, their car, you know, the engine, all, everything just seems to run better. And we, we tell people, we, we don't want to dissuade anybody. We're not telling anybody they've got to go invest in an RO system, put it under their sink, do all the engineering, move things around, do construction. Uh, some get distilled water. Some mm -hmm. people are using well water and then they put it through uh, an additional filter. Like a $25 Brita filter from Amazon right? Yeah. They go, they, they fill it with their tap water, their well water, they let it, they keep that in their fridge. And then they use that filtered water to pour into uh, their hydrofix, for example. Gotcha. Gotcha. Okay. Okay. Cause I think a lot of people, you know, there is that curiosity of, do I have to go and buy, you know, the distilled, do I have to do something else? I mean, I personally am going to recommend that my folks, you want to step it up with what you're putting in there. I think, I think the longevity just kind of you know, just as a whole from machinery, having a family background of mechanics and whatnot in my family, I would think about putting in a little bit higher quality uh, water yeah. there to get a better. It makes sense. Output. 
Now, another question I commonly get is how often a day should you use the device? Great question. Although we don't give any specific protocol, sure. we do recommend that you drink at least uh, a pitcher a day. Okay. Uh, a pitcher a day, uh, I've been told anecdotally, again, from our scientists, that uh, a pitcher to a pitcher and a half is really therapeutic. And so the pitcher is 1.5 liters of water. I don't know how many of those, just with my wife and I, that we go through a day from starting out with drinking at least two eight ounce glasses on an empty stomach first thing in the morning, uh, drinking all day, filling it back up, you start it. And if you, you, you want just a quick 10 minute shot, uh, you can fill the pitcher up halfway and it's ready in 10 minutes. Uh, if you want to let it sit 30 minutes, then you get the whole 1.5 liters. Uh, the best combination we're finding with stories, I mean, Bruce's story, when you go look out and see Bruce's story in his hands, he was just drinking. Uh, I don't believe he was inhaling at all. The stories that you're hearing with, with you know, other ailments, wow, they're they're inhaling and they're drinking every day. Nice, nice, and yeah, of course, I understand. You can't give protocols on that too. So, what what's typical for if someone is doing both the drinking of the water and the inhaling, one after the other? How how do you recommend yeah. it, or what's suggested in terms of the use? Yeah, we're, we're recommending that people at least inhale if they can between 30 and 60 minutes a day. 60 minutes would be ideal. And that's that's what's great about the machine. It comes with this this incredible cannula. It's not like a cheap cannula, an oxygen cannula that, that you get off. It's made of a very special dense material, again, coming out of Japan, that helps maintain the hydrogen through that line all the way to your nose. Right. And it just sits there again. So it's a higher grade. And we just have people, you just change out the lid, you take out the hydrogen keeper, put the other lid for the breathing, put it on. And so people will drink it in the morning, yet you fill it all the way up. And then some are breathing first thing in the morning while they're just working, doing their emails, right? <laughs> and then once they're done breathing, you can drink that whole 1.5 liters. So many times we've got people that start out breathing every morning just while they're working on their emails for about 60 minutes, and then they start drinking it. But we're suggesting, and then, you know, we have people at night while they're watching TV, they've got a little table next to their couch. They just put the machine right there and uh, they just sit there while they're watching. I mean, some people are watching, you know, three, four, five, <laughs> they're binging Netflix, right? And why not sit there and breathe pure hydrogen gas? Because you can't overdose on hydrogen. Right. You can't over, you, you, can, you just breathe and it's dissipated through the lungs and and will be expelled and your body uses what it needs. And so I guess this brings up the other question. And and a lot of people have asked me this one too. Can you have one machine, but different cannulas for the machine? Absolutely. You... Absolutely. Yeah, we, we recommend one cannula per person. Uh, we're getting ready to put online, I believe, uh, that you could buy a pack of extra nose pieces. You, you know, you just clean up the nose piece. So, I mean, it would be possible with one cannula, you had a couple of nose pieces, people could switch out the nose pieces. That could, might get cumbersome. Uh, but the cannula is very high quality last. So we, we suggest each person has their own cannula, but mm -hmm. one will work for multiple people. And A, if they don't mind sharing the nose piece, I mean, depending on, you know, how concerned they are about that. But if it just wiped down, it's ready to go. So, okay. uh, yeah, and people can buy the, the the extra cannulas on our website. Okay, okay. Yeah, I was imagining a splitter on it and two people oh, <laughs> using the yeah. same thing at the, the same time. Any, any, is that's, that, that's a is cool that idea. <laughs> that's a cool idea, you know? Uh, I, I don't know if they'd get enough hydrogen if each person would get the hydrogen they, that they yeah. would need if there was a splitter, but I love the idea. I, if, you know, you you got couples, you got couples hydrogen therapy going on while you're watching Dancing with the Stars or whatever. I mean, why not? Why, why not? not? Why you not? Know? I love. You know, I'm going to bring that suggestion to the engineers uh, that we work with. I would love to hear how it goes. I'd love to hear how it goes. Well, Craig, we have talked about all kinds of things with the Lourdes Hydrofix and all of the stuff like about hydrogen. I think at this point, folks have a pretty darn good idea. Now they may be 
inquiring minds. So let's direct them to where they can find the device. So your guys' website, but also the YouTube. And and also, I can't remember um, Greg the Hydrogen Man's info too, because I, I figure we should probably put that up here too for folks to get more info on that too. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, you can go to holyhydrogen.com, holyhydrogen.com. And if, and, uh, you know, they're, they're free to use uh, a savings code mm -hmm. uh, as well, a discount code. Uh, if, if you've got a code you wanted to provide uh, for them, they can go to holyhydrogen.com. Uh, and they can also go to our, our Facebook page to see all of our posts, Instagram, holy.hydrogen on Instagram. We've got our YouTube channel, Holy Hydrogen on YouTube. And if you want to watch some of Greg's videos, uh, he's on Uprising, one the word Uprising, 144K. He's one of our biggest fans. He, yeah. he is our biggest fan. He's one of the most knowledgeable people about hydrogen I know. We've got other scientific experts uh, as well. We just introduced Dr. Sonny uh, to our team. Uh, Dr. Mark Sherwood has come on and talked about hydrogen uh, as well. But uh, we, we encourage everybody. And if people need a discount code or want to learn more, they can always send an email to support at holyhydrogen.com. Awesome. Well, thank you so much, Craig. I sincerely appreciate it. I know that my folks are going to have some good questions after this, so I will probably be hitting you up, but definitely, you know, I, I think it's a great technology. I've seen the benefits of it. I have definitely firsthand, so it's really cool. So thank you so much for coming on. I appreciate it. Absolutely. Hey, thanks a lot, Janine. Have a have an amazing day. Me too. Hey there. If you guys are interested in purchasing a Lord's Holy Hydrogen. If you guys are interested in purchasing a Holy Hydrogen Lord's Hydro Fix, you can get a discount from just listening to this podcast. The code is doctor spelled out D O C T O R J and you can get a hundred bucks off. So head over to holyhydrogen.com forward slash doctor spelled out J and claim your hundred bucks off your device now. And then of course, hit me up. Let me know all of the amazing things that happen once you get started using it. And of course, in my podcast notes at drjcrossnd.com, you can also find that link. Once again, thanks for listening to the Health Fix Podcast. Share it with your friends. If you know anyone that needs to hear this information, don't be shy. Share it. We got to spread the word about anything and everything that can boost and improve our health. Hey, health junkies, are you feeling just off, feeling like you're aging a little bit faster than you want to and wondering what in the world is up? Hey, I might have some answers for you and some direction. If you want to chat with me, I am offering complimentary calls right now. You can head over to Dr. Spelled Out, J K R A U S E N D dot com. Take my quiz, click on the schedule of chat, and let's talk and see if we can get you in the right direction. And if I'm able to help you, I'm going to let you know. Otherwise, I'm going to help you find what you're looking for. Head over to drjkrausnd.com and check it out now. Hey, fellow health junkie. Thanks for listening to the Health Fix podcast. If you enjoyed tuning in, please help support me to get the word out about the podcast. Subscribe, rate, and review, and just get that word out. Thanks again for listening.